hello guys and welcome back so in the last video we created this otp screen now we need to create another screen for the user information screen so after the user successfully log uh, put the otp otp here and it's successful we need to take them to the user information screen where they, they can put their data now they can put their image and the name and then we get that data we save them inside the cloud firestore that will be uh, the user data which will be saved in our database so let's go ahead and create that user information screen so let's head over to authentication here right click then create a new file let's name it as user information screen so information screen dot dot then here let's create a stateful widget let's name it as user information screen so here let's return a scaffold okay so let's go with a copilot suggestion it does put an app bar for us and then also a center widget so let's get inside this screen so that we see what we are working with so let's go to the main dot that and then change from otp screen to user information screen let's go on ahead and hold to restart so this is our user information screen and then uh, there is an app bar which says uh, user information so let's go inside the user information screen here so maybe here we can change to to say add uh, add user information here or we can just say uh, add name add name and uh, profile picture that won't look nice so maybe let's return it to user information yeah so maybe we can also put uh, this title in the center so here we can say center title to true but if you are on the ios the centering of the title is always true it's it just automatically centers if we what we start we have that on the center and then maybe for the upper that's it next let's work on this body here so first of all instead of uh, this center we can uh, this child instead of this child i mean we can return a column okay so let's go with the uh, copilot's uh, suggestion here but first let's remove all these then the first child here we want to show the image okay the user image here okay so let's do that so instead of this user information let's remove it and then let's return a stack a stack widget so let's also put a comma here and then the stack is going to have a children so for the children here the first child is going to be the circle avatar so you can see that copilot is already assisting us so let's go with its code so here what we want to change is uh, instead of this network image let's remove it this background let's put uh, our asset image that user icon so let's say assets asset uh, image asset image this one so instead of that we know that we have our asset manager dot the user image this one so let's put the constant keyword here in in front of this tag widget and then also here we can remove this constants we can remove that so let's what restart and see what we have so you can see that uh, we have that image and then uh, also here with an icon with a plus sign.
okay so this icon here maybe we can change it instead of this plus we can add the camera or gallery icon let's see what icon we can use we can use a camera camera out icon yeah that one so let's hot restart yeah so we can use that and then maybe also let's increase that to about 25 that is too much 20 yeah so maybe we can have something like that okay so that is, this is at uh, this position and then once we click we can change maybe let's increase this a bit or so let's put it at 60. so let's hot restart yeah we should have something like that okay so we have the user image there and then next uh, after this tag we can have uh, so where's this tag and this tag here next we have uh, uh, this size box of height 20 so let's change it maybe to 30 and then here instead of uh, this elevated button let's remove it so maybe here this is when we can use now our rounded button so what we can do is let's go back to the login screen here we initialize this rounded button here so let's cut it from here because we're not using it here. Let's go inside the user information screen, then up here. Let's paste that. And then let's import that. And then, which means uh, let's also put our text editing controller, okay? Final text editing controller, this, which is a name controller. It looks like copyright knows everything that we want. And then let's put the dispose method. We want to dispose the controllers here. So we're going to have a button controller dot stop and then the name controller dot dispose. Okay. So this one let's put it like that so that we format it correctly. And then next first uh, let's go back to the login screen and then remove this because we don't need it. We can also remove that and then we can also remove that. So back into the user information screen. So instead of this, we are going to use the rounded logging button. So let's remove that. And then also now next here, here we, we have to put the text field. Okay. So let's say text, uh, text field. So you can see that copy it is already suggesting. Let's go with it. There is our text field and then there is our hint and then the outline outline border. So first uh, let's uh, reload and then see what we will have. If we load, then we have that text field. Okay. So which means now let's also put the padding. So here on this column, let's wrap it with the padding. Let's come here and put it at symmetric horizontal we have a 20 vertical we have a 20 okay let's put some commas and then let's hot restart there we have it and so let's continue making this one so here we have a hint text and then also let's get the, the label text label text so label text we can use this same one let's paste it there and then what else can we put in the decoration so i think that's it we don't need more things here let's just put the constant keyword here okay that's it and then let's also again get that copy it and then after this text field let's paste that and then here now we can put the, our rounded button here so first we are going we also going to put it into the sized box 
sized uh, box so you can see copilot is suggesting let's go with it so we are missing this bracket here let's put it at the end here then let's put a comma so there copilot knows that we want to use this rounded logging button but we need to put more style on this one so the rounded logging button is done and then let's we need to put some more features here after this child we can put some more properties there is a property of success success uh, icon so the success icon we want to put the check icon so let's say icons dot check and then we want to put also the success color so let's put success color this will be green which is correct and then after that uh, let's put the error color error color which is going to be red and then after that now let's just put the color of this button so color let's put uh, our primary color so we can either say this or we can say theme dot of context dot primary so this child needs to be last so let's cut uh, the child from here and then put it after this okay let's paste it there all right now uh the on pressed here we can see that we are showing the button success for now we're not doing anything so let's hot restart there is our rounded button and then if we click it here on pressed we are just going to showing to show this success okay so let's click there if you want us to show the error we can also say error here let's hold restart then if we click this we can show the error okay and then here this is our uh, uh, the name field where we can put our name okay so i think that's it maybe the the border here we can put some radius okay so yeah let's go with what copilot is suggesting and then let's hot restart yeah let's see if it restarts yeah that that radius is is fine now okay so this will be our user information screen class okay so now we have uh, these three classes created the user information screen the otp screen and the login screen so here we can remove this here we need to put the method to save user save uh, user information that's what's supposed to do, we're supposed to do here when it's done that's when we're going to show the success okay great so now uh, this video was just about this uh, user information screen all we want is the user to select the image and to put their name and then to press continue to go ahead and save the user data and then continue to the home screen of the application so thank you guys and uh, see you in the next video